The European Commission is considered the powerhouse of the European Union. It is responsible for administering billions of euro for hundreds of projects and programmes across the EU. Now this powerhouse is about to run out of cash. Any additional funding to its 2013 budget must be approved by both the European Council and the European Parliament. I have to inform you that this morning the European Commission President, Mr Barroso, informed me at 7.30 a.m. that he fears that the European Commission will no longer be in a position to make payments as and from the middle of November if a supplementary budget is not adopted. The budgetary shortfall of 2.7 billion euro has come about because of a sharp downturn in international trade with the EU, thus a fall in customs duties and VAT returns. This is not normal. That last week there were no problems, not even on Saturday. And suddenly today we heard that we are not able to make payments by the 15th of November. I find this difficult to understand. You know, as the head of a business, I will simply fire the people responsible for this. Thank you. What we have here is the product of the action of your beloved national governments. It is not the European Parliament that has brought this situation about. There is uh, indeed uh, the risk that in the course of November, uh, if there is no deal reached uh, soon, uh, we will face a situation where we will have to make some choices in the bills we'll, uh, we'll have to pay before the end, uh, the end of the year. The European Council has just given approval for the additional funding. However, the move still has to be agreed by the European Parliament. Now that the European Council has given the green light to release the 2.7 billion euro, members of the European Parliament will likely pass an emergency budgetary procedure before the end of this week to avert the crisis. However, there are no guarantees in this regard. After all, the European Commission first raised this potential cash crisis back in March and in the intervening period, the European Council and Parliament have, on a number of occasions, failed to sort the problem out.